So we're talking about a very strategically important asset for the country. And of course, assets like this must be managed prudently and wisely. We know of many countries with two, three, or even more than that, size of reserves of Malaysia. But because of short-term political gains, have mismanaged the resources. In extreme cases, this has led to war, famine, and destruction. I'm sure you've heard of the saying, the oil trap or the oil curse, without mentioning names of countries. I think we can visualize the examples that I have in mind. How the mismanagement of these resources have led to internal conflicts, chaos, violence. But fortunately in Malaysia, we have shown otherwise. We've managed to safeguard the sanctity of Petronas and what it stands for. At the same time, we're able to exploit the resources of Petronas, the oil and gas resources, in a way that has led to a rapid transformation of Malaysia. Oil and gas continues to be a key sector for us. We understand the oil and gas industry is highly complex in nature, highly technical in nature, and requires heavy capital expenditure and investment. And you must think of the long-term horizon, not only short-term expediency. It's very much like running the country as well. You cannot think of the next year or even the next two years. You've got to have the long-term perspective, a long-term horizon. And one of the key factors why Malaysia has succeeded beyond expectations and proved our critics wrong is because successive administrations in Malaysia have always taken a long-term perspective. We've been able to plan on a basis of a 20-year plan or minimally a five-year plan. But even a five-year plan is based on a long-term 20-year perspective. And we are now currently pursuing our long-term vision of becoming a fully developed nation high-income nation by the year 2020. And I am heartened that the results are beginning to show. For example, we have managed to achieve our GNI per capita. In 2009, was 6,700 US. And now it's 9,700 US. In, in other words, in a space of three years, our income per head has risen by 49%. And we've done our research, no country in the world has achieved that kind of income per head increase as we have achieved in Malaysia.